Hi there boys and girls and welcome to today's Glow Kids lesson. Are you excited for today? I am. Well, did you guys go and do some of the dancing before, the, before we started this lesson? If you haven't, I'm sure that you'll be able to sing some of the songs and dance to some of the songs after this. All right, but let's get into today's lesson. What is it today? It is Father's Day, that's right. Today is a special day where we get to honor our fathers for being in our lives. Right, so I'm going to tell you a dad joke. Are you guys ready? Right, what do oceans say to each other? They don't say anything. They just wave. <laughs> All right. Let us start with the prayer. Will you guys close your eyes with me? Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for today's lesson. I pray that you help me to understand all it is that you want me to learn today. Thank you that I can be with you and be with my friends, even if it's through watching this video. I pray, Lord God, that you will help me to understand all that you want to teach me today. In Jesus' name, amen. So today's story is called The Poor Widow's Gift. You see, in Jesus' time, that Jesus and his disciples would go to the temple. The temple was a place where people would go and worship God. And Jesus and his disciples would also go to the temple. They would go and worship God and they would go and ask God for certain things. They would also ask God for forgiveness for all of their sins. Very similar to what we do when we go to church. So, uh, the disciples and Jesus, they were at the temple. And while they were at the temple, they, they, would, they, they would sit down and they started to watch the people. Now, lots of different people would come and bring offerings to God at the temple. The hope was that when they gave the offering to God, that God would see them and forgive them for their sins. Some people would take lots of cool stuff. They would take these kinds of treasures, like gold and all kinds of things. And they would just go and they would go and drop it off at the temple. But you know what they would do? They would take their treasure and they would be at, they would walk really loudly and be like, Can you guys hear all the gold I've got in my treasure box? I'm going to give this all to God. I want everyone to see. Look, look, even this big gold coin, I'm giving this to God and I'm giving this coin to God. Even all of this stuff, I'm going to give this all to God. And they would make sure that everyone saw how much they would give. Do you think that these rich people were honoring God by giving so many big gifts? Well, a little bit later, an, an old widow came. And the old widow came just with who she was. And what she did is she took two final coins. And what she did is she gave these two final coins as an offering to God. She gave them and she put them down and she just started to pray. She didn't show many, she didn't tell anyone that she was give what she was giving. But it was very clear that she was giving the last two coins that she had. The disciples were puzzled when Jesus said, Do you, do you guys see that old poor widow? She is given more than any of those rich people with their big treasure box. How, the disciples thought, well, how is this more than this? How are all of these coins and jewels more than these two coins? And Jesus said, you see, the rich people, they gave lots, but they still had a lot to give. Whereas the old widow gave all that she had. This was everything that she gave. God is interested in what you give, not how much you give. God wants to know what are you giving and why are you giving it, not just how much you are giving. And this was a lesson that he taught the disciples. Well, I hope you boys and girls enjoyed today's story. So what, do, what does today's story mean to us? Well... As, a, as in the story, God is really interested in what you can do, not how much you can do. So today, I want you guys to remember the widow's two coins. 
I want you to, I want to ask you that you do two things for your daddy today. Maybe you go and help, go to your dad and ask him how you can help him today. Maybe you can ask your mom and say, mom, how can I help you today? And I want you to do two things just like the, the widow did. It doesn't matter what those two things are, but I'm sure your daddies can help you, can give you something that you can do for them. And make sure that when you do it, you should do it because you love your mommy or your daddy. And make sure you tell them how much you love them. And I hope that when you're doing it, that you remember all the things that your daddy does. Well, I also want you to remember that God is our big daddy. God is looking after us and providing for us in so many ways. And I hope that you will continue to pray to God about all the wonderful things that God does for you. Right, well that's all for today's lesson and I hope to see you boys again next week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Have an amazing day. Bye.